Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart for Test Driven TV. Recently, I got to test drive the 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye. And so thus, here we have a video that's going to outline the major technical specifications and all of the components under the hood, as well as the maintenance service points. Full tour. The engine bay of the 2021 Dodge Charger Hellcat Red Eye is one of the cleanest laid out and organized you will find in today's landscape. It's ready-made for a car show, designed to look good with the 6.2-liter supercharged Hellcat engine as its crown jewel. In the Charger Red Eye and the Challenger Superstock similar, the high-output version of the Hellcat engine puts out 797 horsepower and 707 pound-feet of torque, and it's mated to an 8-speed torque flight automatic transmission designed by ZF. With the slick looking valve cover shields off, it isn't as pretty, but you can see more of its components like the fuel rails for its injectors and the coil packs for its spark plugs down on the sides. Down in the front, you can see that two drive belts are utilized, one for the supercharger and a second for all the major engine accessories. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts with a large open element air filter, which features a sealed box that draws air in from both a built-in channel from the functional hood scoop and also an opening behind the fender. From there it goes to a huge throttle body and into the supercharger assembly. There, the air is cooled with an air-to-water intercooler system which here features an additional cooling tool called SRT Power Chiller. In such, the secondary coolant circuit can be further cooled by using the AC refrigerant when the system allows. The intercooler radiators are located down in front behind the grill. The supercharger itself blows up to 14.5 psi boost into the 6.2 liter iron block engine which breathes through aluminum two valve heads operated via a single cam and push rods. It's a hundred year old technology, but it works. Maintenance and service is made easy in spite of the massive engine's packaging. Checking the oil is done at the front passenger side of the engine. You can see the dipstick right there. The oil cap itself is located on the driver's side rear of the engine, the oil filter down on the bottom accessible from underneath. Windshield washer fluid is located at the passenger side front of the engine bay. The main fuse box is just behind it. Further back, you'll find the coolant reservoir for the supercharger intercooler system secondary cooling circuit. The main coolant reservoir for the engine is actually located at the driver side of the engine bay just behind the large air filter box. Accessing the brake fluid reservoir requires removing a small black plastic access cover just ahead of the windshield on the driver side. Changing the air filter is likely the easiest task as accessing it is easy due to the open element design of its air box. If you're looking for the 12 volt battery, instead of under the hood, it's located in the trunk area just below the floor. You'll also find an emergency tire inflator kit as our Charger Hellcat Red Eye does not have a spare tire. All right, there you have it, my friends. That is quite a motor, I gotta say. It is a good looking engine compartment. I, as I said at the beginning of the video, you can tell that they designed this to be taken to car shows. They've got covers over some of the unsightly things and they've organized it such that all the wiring's hidden for the most part. And that makes it easy to work on. It makes it easy to work on. So also, as I said, this is almost identical to what you're gonna find under the hood of the Dodge Challenger Superstock. So there you go, either or. They're one and the same. Now, if you like this video, I recommend you look at the test drive that we did this car right there, and better yet, subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.